Wait and see. The big issue here is all of the rain. We saw just devastating floods in Tuscaloosa. What's today like, Dave? Unfortunately, more heavy rain in the forecast. Same thing for tomorrow, too. But toward the middle of the week, a big cold front's going to come in. We'll have more on that coming up in just a bit. Cloudy right now for our BJCC camera. 73 degrees out there, dew point 71. A very, very muggy morning out there. Temperatures about lower 70s to mid 70s everywhere. 74 at Aniston, 73 Alabaster, 71 in Hamilton and Coleman right now. And you can see some of the rain coming not too far between Brent and Tuscaloosa, right along the Bibb and Tuscaloosa County line, just north of Birmingham as well, too. Pretty good downpours headed into the Coleman area, back to Hansville and Hayden area, getting some rain not too far away from Warrior, Springville, Aniana. This will continue across Blount County, heading to Coleman County, too. So look for it again. Pretty good downpours out there. The streams and creeks already running high. They'll continue to see some rain. Not much out here. A little rain near the Aliceville area. Tuscaloosa dry at the moment. There's some showers in far southern part of Tuscaloosa County, not too far away from Vance. Again, seeing a little bit of rain there. And over the next hour, those showers kind of just missing Tuscaloosa. Birmingham getting a few showers. The Aniston Gadsden area, some light rain. Coleman, a little bit more of a downpour expected across your area. And the bigger picture still shows the humid air. That's suddenly wind still in place here. Trough full of pressure coming out of the Plains States. That's going to help to eventually bring us a cold front into the area. And when that does, the deep tropical moisture we have over top of us for today, look at this, goes away by Wednesday as that front moves through. Less humid air comes in. And I'm telling you, this is going to be some Wonderful fall weather just in time for fall, which starts on Wednesday. By the way, look at that humidity going from the oppressive dangerous category way down to the comfortable categories. We head on into Thursday, Friday and the weekend, and that's going to lead to some great weather across the area. But before that gets here, though, rain totals could still be about a half an inch to an inch or so in spots out there today. If you're underneath one of those downpours, you may get even a little bit more of that. So flash flood watch is in effect till 7 p.m. for the counties highlighted here, which is much of the area. So just be aware any rain that falls today will quickly run off and we still could deal with some flooding issues across the region. Best chance for some heavy flash flooding would be Coleman area, Talladega, uh, Anderson, Gadsden back over toward parts of northern Georgia. The rest of us just a level one marginal risk for flash flooding today. Chance of rain finally starts to decrease Wednesday and we dry out Thursday and Friday with some wonderful weather coming into play there. So here's your morning showers and storms from lunchtime where temperatures about 78 lower 80s today again scattered storms. The best chance going to be kind of along the north of the uh, I-20 and 65 corridors as we go forward on into the afternoon and evening hours. Still pretty good downpours out there. Just be aware again, any of that rain will run off and cause problems. A little quiet weather to start off the day tomorrow, but then we'll see more scattered storms popping up throughout the afternoon hours on Tuesday before eventually our front comes in Tuesday night into Wednesday. So your forecast looks like this 80% chance of rain today, 70% tomorrow, 40% on Wednesday. Then check it out. Lows in the 50s, even 40s by Friday morning with amazing weather all the way into the weekend. Time, Dave, thank you very much for.